Hey guys, Nifty Thrifty Girl today featuring a um, Kenmore 1357 clean, clean flatbed machine. Wish it was a free arm, but it's not. Um, just a flatbed. It is a typical 17 inch square flat deck of a Kenmore, so you will need a, seven, um, a, a Kenmore carrying case or cabinet to put it in if you're not going to use a tabletop this machine will not fit in your typical Singer cabinet or case because it's got a bigger deck. It is one amp, all metal. It has two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve built-in stitches, including stretch. Um, it has feed dog drop. It has reverse. Your bobbin winders up here on the top, and it is double needle capable. Cosmetically, it's it's pretty nice. It's just got two, three little tiny paint dings right here on the front edge. Other than that, it looks pretty much like a brand new machine. Um, it has a low shank, low or short shank for um, feet and attachments. Class 15 bobbin system. And uh, it's serviced and ready to go. It does come with a box of accessories, which includes sealed double needles, the buttonholer attachment, which it has this, the plate that goes on, that has the gear, and the two templates that go in the buttonholer attachment. It has bobbins, it has a satin stitch foot, straight stitch foot, a cording zipper foot, it has a needle threader still new in the plastic, never opened. These are the original um, spool pin protectors, but there's felts up there now. Originally went on the spool pins. Um, package of needles. Package of ballpoint needles, which these are for stretch fabrics. And I don't know what the heck this is for. It's some kind of a funky foot. I'll have to look that up. Maybe it's in the manual for the 1357, but as you can see, it's funky. But it's a short shank. Looks like that you screw this in and out for a guide. So it's some kind of a guide foot. Anyway, so it does have the original box with goodies in it, and this comes with the machine. So you're all set to go upon receipt. Check your feedback. We have good feedback for packing and shipping and, and um, the machines being what they say they are. And eBay, as of June 1st, which is in a few days, is not going to let me um, link my videos in the listing anymore. So if you're over here on this video from eBay, I apologize that you had to leave eBay, but it's eBay's new policy that they won't allow the live links. They don't want you going off of their site elsewhere to look at stuff and possibly buy stuff off of their website is the goal, even though they say that taking the video off, the live links off helps it load better. No. It's just to keep people on their site so they'll quit going elsewhere and buying things. Anyway, my opinion, now it's time to sew. Uh, straight stitch to start with. strong and smooth. Tension's good. Um, it does have a, a little insert in the center too. That it's a the needle, the little needle insert that flip flops from straight to zigzag. If you'd ever want to switch that, that's built in. You don't have to change out the whole plate. It's just a little thin, like quarter inch insert in there. So that's pretty nice. Go over to zigzag. Now, to, to um, sew with your stretch stitches, it's pretty cool because everything's kind of color matched. Like the, the normal stitches are orange, the stretch stitches are white. Um, so you get orange and white on here. So in the center of this top dial, which is actually your stitch width, you flip it, it's on orange dot right now, which is regular stitches. So you flip it around a white dot, then you're on stretch. So up here, the orange or regular, the black, our stretch. So it's not it's not white, but this is your stitch length. So when you're doing stretch, you kind of always want to have it on 6, which is the longest that it can be, 
because this arrow right here is how you address the length of your stretch stitches. Um, so we're going to do stretch um, zigzag. You can watch it go up and back. So I'm going to do one of these decorative one of these more decorative patterns. Okay, this is like the, um, I can't remember what this pattern's called. It looks like a fence. Anyway, so I'm going to start with that. Now as I move this around, you can see it getting longer. It stretches out, and I'll show you that in a minute, and then I'll pull it back in. So if you look here, you can see the stitch. It was really tight in the beginning, and I took the arrow on the center dial and loosened it up so it got really loose. And then I tightened it back up and it come together again. So as you can see, the stitches are very nice front and back. This 1357 makes a very nice stitch, and it is ready to go. Um, email underneath the video. Find me on eBay, Seller Nifty Thrifty Girl. Um, Sales off of eBay are welcome as well. I take PayPal, so you'd still be protected with your purchase. And that is that. Thank you.